Can you give me an example of a food that's a vaccine? You recognize? Yes, sir. Uh, University of California, Riverside, has already perfected the ability to put human vaccines into our lettuce right now. Also, toma also tomatoes has the ability to do that also for UC Berkeley. And then uh, our Big Tobacco, R.J. Reynolds and stuff, has perfected the ability to put a human vaccine in, into tobacco products. Chairman Clements? And is that even legal to do in the state of Tennessee to sell those with a vaccine in them? You recognize? Uh, well, I, I'm not arguing that point. What I'm saying is there is no law deeming those that when you go into a grocery store, you should know as a consumer this head of lettuce is a head of lettuce. The head of lettuce right next to it could contain a vaccine in it. All we're saying is if it does have the vaccine in it, make sure it's listed as a pharmaceutical so people can get the proper dosage. And my question is, is right now, can you walk into a grocery store and there be a let, head of lettuce for sale that has a vaccine in it? I don't think that's allowed under state law presently. And if it is, and you have to list it as a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical are we going to then have Walgreens pharmacists with a refrigerated section? I mean, how's this going to play out? You recognize. Thank you. This is more of a consumer protection bill right here, is to make sure that if you're going in to buy tomatoes and there's a polio vaccine in there, that you are aware of what you're buying has a polio vaccine. The problem you have is if it's not treated as a pharmaceutical, <clears throat> being the size and difference between you and me, how many tomatoes do I have to eat to get the proper dosage versus how many tomatoes that you have to eat? And if you eat too many, do you get a, a overdose? If you eat too less, like we had in the cattle industry with aramycin, we weren't dosing our cattle properly and the horn flies were developing an immunity to it. If we don't have the proper dosage of a vaccine, it could lead to the efficacy of that drug not, not, not work anymore. You recognize? Well, I'd like to think I'm more immune to horn flies than you are, but um, I, I, I say that in, uh, jokingly, no, but I, I, right no, now, I, I, my question is just, is, no, is, no. is there a need for this? I understand there's a concern, and yeah, people shouldn't know if there's a vaccine in food, mm -hmm. but I, if we can't even sell food with vaccines in it in the state of Tennessee right now, then is this legislation necessary is my question. Yeah. Well, if you have a child that is allergic to a certain vaccine and it's not disclosed when you go to buy that, that, that vegetable or whatever it is and your child dies from that, I would think that having something in place that's going to make sure that that is treated as a pharmaceutical so that the consumers know exactly what they're buying. All those in favor of House Bill 1894 say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Ayes have it. Bill goes on to counter and rules. If you wish to be recorded as a no, uh, please notify the clerk.